How is everybody doing? We've got ourselves a new patch, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, go into details about that while we've got some gameplay in the background. A little bit of assassin play here in quick match. I've been trying all morning to get a game that actually lasted long enough to uh, record. Most of them were like nine minute rolls one or the other. I might show one of those uh, later on here when I... Uh, I'm not saying talk about that's a little shorter in length. But we have a new patch. Uh, some big changes here. The first is, of course, the uh, addition of the prize system, which allows you to have a chance to get a, a free item when you... Uh, basically at the end of a match, no matter whether you win or lose, you have a chance for an item. It can be an endorsement, a product, a taunt, and they have said eventually they're going to add some uh, ability some uniforms to it. So it's basically an incentive for players to actually uh, stick through a game and stay with it until the end. There is no increased chance of getting a prize if you do well, if you win, or anything. It is entirely uh, just a random chance, regardless of what happens to the game. I will say, though, that if you, uh, from my experience, the first win of the day uh, guarantees you a prize. So incentive there to actually uh, get one win in. But besides that, it's all uh, pretty much chance-based. Uh, some items are have a higher chance than others. Obviously, you have a higher chance of getting the rank 1 endorsements than a uh, ultra or bacon grade uh, endorsement. And, of course, products are more common based on their price, less common based on their price is higher. I have not gotten a taunt yet, but I imagine that works just uh, pretty much the same way. And they also added a ability to kick idlers from a game, which was obviously necessary if you uh, are going to put a system in like this, because while it discourages leavers, it will encourage people to just sit and spawn and wait for the game to end. So that's a good change, making sure they're, thinking, they're just thinking ahead there. Um, besides that, we have some more uh, changes to the arenas. Uh, Spunky, in particular, got its art finished. However, Spunky is incredibly broken right now. Um, bots are a mess. They're getting stuck in tunnels. I had a game uh, last night where we had like four jackbots stuck in a tunnel, just clogging up the uh, lane. Uh, there's also some weird AI behavior with the bots in lane. I had a we've had jackbots who will uh, walk down a lane and then they will head toward they'll turn around and head back towards the uh, base they spawned from, wander around a bit, then switch lanes. So it's a very broken map. It's not a lot of fun to play right now because uh, games take a lot longer that shouldn't because the jackbots that would have otherwise uh, moved forward and pushed the lane are getting stuck and not doing anything. So it kind of drags out matches a little bit. There's also some issues with apparently turrets firing through walls that might have been fixed. They had to, they did release a patch um, rather quickly to fix some issues, and that might have been one of them. But I know for a fact that bots are still an issue on that map, so it's pretty broken. I heard that they're considering removing it from the rotation until they can fix it, which would be a fairly good idea. Um, there were some balance changes that went on. A lot of HP uh, fixing here and there, little adjustments. I know Commandos got a... A minor change, it was basically uh, about 5 HP, base HP off each commando. Uh, some of the forces of their HP changed up. I know Chesson gained back a little bit of HP. Not pre-nerf, I think, but it was a little higher than it was before the uh, nerf. I mean, it's, it's still lower than uh, before the nerf, but it's not as low. So they didn't undo the nerf entirely, just uh, undid a little bit. Uh, Tank got his HP nerfed by quite a bit. He's still pretty up there, but he, to make up for it, he got his um, uh, freight train ability where he charges and uh, attack, uh, grapples somebody. That guy's damage increased, its cooldown reduced, and both the for, uh, veteran and Cheston got their melee weapons uh, up to damage. Uh, in an earlier video, I was going on about how Cheston's melee weapon was not even good as, as a melee weapon. It was mostly for lunging and grappling compared to his uh, Tommy gun, so that's a good change, though they did nerf Cheston's, uh, they did nerf Cheston's, the accuracy of his, uh, Tommy gun, I think the, the spread now gets, uh, much, uh, wider than it did before. Um, other changes besides that were, uh, once again, the sharpshooters, their damage has been increased once more, however, as a lot of people were, uh, were thinking of, were, uh, discussing, as I had mentioned in my, in my other videos, is that the multiplier for headshots has gone down from 4 to 3. And it's, 
from the math I did uh, initially, I'm not sure if it's uh, correct, but it seems like that's a that is a a small overall nerf to headshot damage. Uh, not that huge. It's like 40 damage difference for a gunslinger. So that that was just initial math. I could be wrong on that. And they did nerf the sniper's uh, clip uh, to five instead of six. So hey, that feels about right. Man, you better head to the restroom. And uh, besides that, looking at the uh, patch notes here, uh, still no matchmaking. That should be coming in soon. And I think they said uh, earlier there about a month. Uh, probably sometime in March, I would say. Yeah, I think they just said uh, they look like they deny it, but we'll see. Uh, the biggest change, uh, one of the biggest changes they did add was the addition of new uh, products. They are all, from what I can tell, they are all 6,750. And they add some new effects. One of them is the, I'll go over some of them here. Uh, one is the All Magnet as a small radius that takes in all items instead of the Money Magnet, which just takes in money, obviously. And that is 6,750, like the, uh, like all the new ones. Where I can tell. And, um, that seems like it's a really good item, uh, product at first, but um, if you think about how, as you get experience, you think about how uh, how non-money items work, and it really isn't uh, a great item. The reason being that is, the reason money magnet is good is because money magnet, uh, you can't have too much money. Even at level 15, you can still use money for stuff. Money always has uses. It's experience, it allows you to purchase bots, and so forth. It is just a resource you can not you can never max out on. You can have too much health, you can have too much armor, you can have max juice, you can have um, a certain number of bacon, and so forth. So grabbing more of those is not really always a good idea. In fact, it can hurt you. It can, uh, especially with churros. Churros allow you to do some things with cooldowns because since a churro reduces your cooldown, if you are, for example, a Carl. You can lay down multiple um, juniors by being strategic with your churro use. But if you're sucking in all churros in your buy every few seconds, then you're, you can potentially hurt yourself and not allow yourself to do that. And it also hurts your team because I know one argument is that you can deprive the enemy of a lot of cool items, but at the same time, you're going to be near your teammates more often than that, and you'll be depriving them of, item, uh, them of items. Like if your defender needs a churro to gain health right back real quick. Uh, you just absorbed it with your uh, with your product, and now you just hurt your teammate. Or maybe you don't need a churro for cooldown reduction; your other teammate does. Again, you sort of hurt the team there. And that is the main reason why it's not really a good product. It's just, it's just one of those products that seem good on paper, but it's it doesn't compare to Money Magnet. And Money Magnet did get a um, I wouldn't call it a nerf; it's more of a change. It's now a single coin every 0.25 seconds, instead of a lot of coins every few seconds. I think this is so you aren't um, constantly hogging the enemy's, uh... Hogging the enemy's, uh, or hogging your, uh... Your allies' coins all the time. Makes it a little more fair. But it's still a great product if you want to, uh... Want to make sure you're staying ahead in uh, experience and cash. That's a... Still a good product. It's cheaper than it's cheaper than all magnets, so uh, definitely looking at getting money magnet if you've done so already. I know um, certain characters don't need it, particularly um, ones that farm a lot of bots. But eh, it's still good if uh, it's still a good a good safe bet for most uh, pros. And speaking of farming bots, there is the uh, bot buster uh, product, which increases your bot rating by one every time you kill a bot. However, it resets if you die. For those who don't know, you actually have um, three different ratings. You have damage rating, which is your general damage, uh, bot rating, your damage against bots, and uh, your turret rating, which is your damage against turrets. So this basically makes you better at killing bots the more you kill them. So basically, the better your streak, bot streak gets, the better your build you kill more bots gets. So you get to, it's a pretty snowball item. It's um, a dramatic increase in your and your bot rating, I believe uh, one screenshot someone had was a 225% increase if you uh, could keep it up. As, and that's obviously the question there, is if, how good are you staying alive? If you are a enforcer or a 
or a, or a safer class like that that really pushes bot waves, uh, maybe a striker that's playing it safe, you can definitely um, push very hard uh, and towards the end game be very effective at killing bots, particularly jackbots. Especially with, uh, with Juice, we really, uh, really be able to mow down uh, bot waves really quickly and uh, push really hard when uh, needed, just by yourself without any help at all. The problem is, if you're dying a whole lot, it's um, almost always a product slot. And the question is, do you want to be better at killing bots, or do you want to be better at a actual team fight? And that's really what the, it all boils down to. If you don't really engage a whole lot in the enemy, it's a pretty uh, pretty great product if you play it safe. Even if you die every now and then, um, the max is 225%, so you can still get a pretty high, uh, a high average uh, bot rating, even if you're dying every so often. And if you're averaging a uh, double bot damage with it per life, I'd say it's still probably a decent investment. We'll have to see later on, but it looks like it's a not a, not a super safe bet for every pro, but if you're the kind who likes to kill bots and play it safe, then yeah, I would definitely uh, look into it. Uh, one I've been looking into is Massive Air. Uh, this gives you complete air control. I'm not entirely sure what that will um, mean. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing some uh, videos showing that in action because I don't have the coins for it quite yet. It seems like it's a no-brainer for uh, certain commandos, particularly Assassin and uh, Wascot. I've heard it does not work so well with jump abilities like the Assassin's Sleep. Like I said, I'll have to experiment with that or see some videos of it. But I have heard it's very good with Wascot. I've heard it's also uh, effective at countering the uh, veteran. And it might be good in conjunction with the uh, jumpy uh, Spunky. Which gives you a jump boost while you are uh, juiced. Something to experiment with. I did win a uh, jumpy spunky surprise, so I can uh, when I get massive, I can test that out. The other new product is can't stun this, which is the same thing as can't slow this. Only it works on uh, stuns instead of snares. Every 30 seconds, you get a or you have a shield that blocks one stun effect every uh, and has a recharge of 30 seconds. So. This one is less useful than the snare one, because snares are way more abundant in matches, uh, even the ejector stairs, so you're always going to have some use for can't slow this, and a lot of more pros have it. This seems like a directly a counter, a probably the counter pick certain pros like Carl, Wascott, and so forth. So it's definitely one you probably wouldn't just want to buy later. Even then, I kind of question its value, because... Um, how often you get stunned by Carlin Wascott. I mean, it'll happen a few times, it'll save you every so often, but it seems like it's so, it's just too narrow to be worth grabbing. Whereas with Can't, uh, can't Slow This, um, a lot of pros have a slow effect. I think all commandos have a slow effect, several enforcers have a slow effect, not all of them. Um, I believe Jackbots have a slow, Chicky has a slow with her with AoE. So there is a, uh, a lot more general purpose with Can't Slow This, whereas Can't Slow This is just too narrow for my purpose. And that leads us into a Bestos, which uh, basically assumes the fire effect like two seconds after it happens. And a fire is a bit more common than snares, uh, especially with Hot Hands. Uh, hot Hands is a pretty popular uh, product that burns you if you are grappled. And you have, of course, the tank who can uh, burn people. You have chest and uh, barrel. I'm trying to think about um, does fire damage. There's a few others, but again, it's just uh, a fire is annoying. It can it does uh, suppress your ability to reach an HP, which can hurt you trying to grab a all. In fact, it can guarantee a kill if you're low in life trying to regenerate HP. It can't. But on the other hand, you have defenders who can extinguish fire pretty fast, so it doesn't seem like it's that worthwhile to me. And I believe that is it for the. For the products here, they're um, for the most part they're um, half of them are pretty good. Uh, the rest are okay. They're expensive, so might want to hold off on those. Get a few more, uh, more the cheaper ones. To see if you try your luck with the uh, prices before uh, investing that money. And this game is over. Um, I'm going to show you the prices of an action here at the end. <laughs> Happens at the end of the game. Uh, like I said, win or lose. And right here, you get a little prompt, post game report, you want a prize, you hit open. And right there, I got myself a skill regen. Um, rank two thing, so that is it. Hope you all enjoyed the patch, and I'll see you all next time.